Hello guys, it's Quinn in here. Uh, finally bringing you a Warzone video. I can finally start recording after all the um, lags that were going on uh, while in Warzone. So, bringing you this first one, which is Alderman. Now, uh, but normally starts as I go, normally starts turning right. Hopefully, a couple of uh, my teammates will come, come with me and we try and stop them from capping this base. And we didn't quite get there because they were faster than us getting there. Um, but we are about to. Um, kill them all and get the base back and hopefully people have gone the other way to the other end and got the base that is simply the easiest one to get from the start and um, that's how I like to start it, it uh, tends to put pressure on the other team and uh, hopefully gets you the win but it all depends on your teammates, this is just a pug that I've, uh, that I've joined in, no one else in my guild is, is with me um, so it's just a matter of trying your best really helping your teammates out as much as you possibly can now, how I tend to open up as my bounty hunter, I tend to use my incen incendiary grenade because uh, I've gone the pyro um, tree. Uh, I've gone out all DPS spec and I'll show you my spec another time. I'll make another video for you and um, show me exact rotation, etc. But what I tend to do is when I see a group of players, always be using your sonic missile which is your AOE uh, damage reduction, if they don't start hitting you it reduces their damage by 30% and also the neural dart which is just a single player uh, uh, taunt but it reduces the damage again uh, for about 6 seconds I think it is uh, but if they're not hitting you, you get uh, medals for doing that so you'll get the um, 2k uh, reg for reduce damage to other players while you're still alive, 5k, 10k um, it's, it's an easy way to get medals, just just pop that in. The Sonic Missile is on a 45 second cooldown, which is your AOE one. And the Neural Dart is on a 15 seconds. It's helping your teammates out, it's helping you out, so why not use it? Take advantage of it, guys. Uh, every medal counts as getting Valor, so go ahead and do that. Um, I tend to keep tend to like to keep putting pressure on in the base that isn't ours uh, a lot of the times. I want, and this time I wanted to go in and I wanted to get the one-on-one -on -one medal against this guy, but it was someone else came in and started helping him. So unfortunately, it did take me down. Otherwise, I would have clearly killed this guy. There was two, two on me there. But my dots take him down anyway. The guy that I was hitting, and I do get the one-on-one. -on -one. But I took down one person there. There was only one, one other person left there. So hopefully, one of my teammates has gone in um, and took this guy down which is basically what's happening now. So I'm running back in, I know there's only one person there at the moment, or there was when I when I died, so that's what I want to do now, I want to go back in, I want to challenge that guy. But luckily my teammates uh, thought of the same thing, he's took him down quite easily, we go in and we take this third base, so we've got three bases there. And once you've got obviously three bases, it's all about defending, keep your eyes open on both sides, it's easy from the middle um, to see where you can uh, help out, you can look over the walls and see which side needs help of, etc. Here we go again, I'm running in, I'm using my AOE uh, taunt which reduces damage and I'm get starting to get my medals up now, okay? If you see a group of players and, and they're all like, gr grouped up trying to hit someone, good idea is to always uh, do your death from above, it's high damage. Also uh, pop your trinkets as well, um, I have a power trinket, I have my adrenaline uh, stim thing which is like another 450 pow power I have the 25% extra crit chance ability that power, uh, power techs have, that our bounty hunters in general I pop all three at the same time and I just completely go for it basically what me and my a few of my guildies were talking about on our website is um, what kind of war zones would you like to see coming next? What what variety of uh, war zones would you like to see? Because uh, obviously they're bringing out a new war zone come March, I believe, uh, or in the next major big patch. And um, the kind of thing that I said I would, wouldn't mind seeing is something like a team death match, like in like in Gears of War 3, where you have like 20 lives per team. And uh, obviously, once them lives have all gone, your team loses. I wouldn't mind seeing something like that. It's just, there's no uh, objection, uh, objective to the actual war zone. It's just go in and you've got to kill everyone. And I, I quite like the idea of that. Just 
just all out DPS gun hole fight. I quite like the idea of that. I think it'd be quite good. Uh, another person came up with like instead of having two teams, having a, a four-team war zone, like four teams of four or four teams of five, something quite small but not too small and uh, having like a captured a base so all four teams are going for this one base and if you get the base you start accumulating points kind of like you do in um, Call of Duty with um, I can't remember if it's called captured a base or something something like that um, but then obviously at the end of that 15-20 minutes whoever has the most points uh, wins the wa wins the war zone and gets the most commendations but you could have like a ranking system first, second, third and fourth and which is a lot the people last get less commendations people second don't get as much as first etc so it's quite a good idea I thought it was a quite refreshing something different I, want, I just want something different I don't want the, the everyday uh, stuff like that Warcraft I don't want not to see all I want to see something a little bit different which is the same as football I really like football because it's something different um, so you can see here there's, there's three people there. Now, I should have used my def, def from above a little bit sooner but they're all on me and hitting the other guy as well so I go ahead and use carbonized and I've cc'd all three of them there and I run away I use my grenade and then I use rail shots and I get myself away so I get away, start uh, rocket punching, flame bursting and just basically getting people down fast now. If you notice when I was running in there, there was two people uh, capping that base and these two were fighting. Now what they should have done is kept an eye out behind them instead of concentrating too much on trying to get some kills. And if they would have done that they would have been able to stop him capping that. I mean we've got it back, it's fine, there's no damage but... Um, it could have been another story. So you just gotta, you got to keep looking around and making sure that no one's capping. Don't run too far away from your base if that is what you're doing, if you're defending. But obviously we're easily going to win this. Now it's not it's not really been a long match because we've pretty much had the three bases nearly, all, nearly enough all the way through this. So I've not been able to get a lot of damage going on but I've done enough and for some reason it's saying I've only got eight medals on my character screen but I've actually got nine which you'll see once it's finished. Oh another like war zone as well like an Altric Valley type one uh, like 40 versus 40 or 20 versus 20 or something. So there we go I've come top I've got nine medals uh, you can see my protection there as well which has come from my sonic missile and my neural dart um, like I said not a lot of damage but it's, it wasn't really a long game 